Hi everyone, it's Bill from Crooked Acres. Welcome back to the channel. So I've got a quick one for you today. What I'm working on today is I'm gonna take this IVC tote that you see behind me and we're going to use that and build two chicken brooders. Uh, I've got some meat chickens coming here in about another three weeks. I do have one brooder, uh, but I need more because I've got a hundred chickens coming. They're not all gonna fit in the one I got. So uh, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna cut this IVC tote in half flop it over and I'll have two complete chicken brooders to use there along with my other one should give me plenty of room so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to get started on this and I'll show you what we're going to do just a standard IBC tote so the first thing I'm going to do is I did rinse it out but it does need to be washed out yet uh, once I get it all cut in half I'm gonna go ahead and do that but I'm gonna go ahead and get these the tin snips cut these off first and then I'm gonna draw a line around the entire thing uh, get my saws all out and cut this right in half and uh, I'll show you when we're done all right hey everyone I'm back to finish my IBC tote project I started this like a week and a half ago I started making the video like a week and a half ago got sidetracked on some other things uh, but I did take some footage then I'm gonna take the rest of the footage now so that's why you'll see me different sweatshirt than when I started and also I got this nice tight cut uh, that I didn't have in the first video so I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished now it's raining out so it finally allows me to get in the garage and get some stuff done uh, so yeah Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to cut this all the way around with the Sawzall. I'm going to have it at that, and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. All right, so I got it cut in half, um, a little harder than I thought it was going to be, but saws up all around it. Now I've got two halves. Uh, the next step is I'm going to go ahead and clean these out uh, real good, um, make sure they're real nice and clean, and then we're eventually going to buy, uh, build a wooden frame around the top of them. But I'm going to go ahead and get these cleaned out, and then when I go to build the frame, I'll bring you guys back so you over and do that. All right, so I got them both cleaned out. So the only thing left to do now is to install the top. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. And once I get the first board on there, I will, uh, I'll show you what, we, uh, what we're gonna do. Basically, we're gonna run two by fours around the inside of that uh, using some plumber's tape to attach to those outside aluminum bars uh, to hold it all in place, and then just run a mesh top uh, over top of that. So let me get the first couple in and I will show you and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, the first two by four for the top is installed. Again, I'm using plumber's tape 
just two screws around the the aluminum posts you want to make sure that it's a little above your your cut where you cut the IVC tote uh, again my cuts not perfectly level because honestly it doesn't matter so the next thing I'm going to do is run each I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side and then I'll run my two that go along this side here and they will actually be attached to these uh, two two by fours in the end so I'll go ahead and get that done and then I'll bring you back and show you where we stand All right, I got that first side one in. Basically, once you've got your two attached with the plumber's tape, uh, holding them to them bars, I just cut that one really tight. And then I just drive two three inch screws and they go through the IBC tote, through the first one that we put in right into the second one. And you know, this isn't going anywhere at all. Um, so we're in good shape. I'm gonna go ahead and put that other side in. You know, I'm thinking about it as I'm doing it. I suppose you could hold, build the whole frame first and try to get it in there. I just don't know how you would uh, get it tight enough uh, or hold it while you were trying to secure it. So that's why I use the tape on the sides to get started. But I'm going to go ahead and put that third piece in there, or a fourth piece, I'm sorry, and then I will show you how we're going to uh, build the top. All right, now that your top frame is complete, the last thing I did was I put one inch screws right through the IBC plastic, right into the two by four frame, just to shore it up. I went around and did that around the entire thing. Only took a few seconds, no big deal. So that's that. We're gonna go ahead and get started on top and uh, we'll show you how that looks. So I've got the top frame built. All this is made out of is just uh, strips of OSB. I cut them at four inches thick, but there's really no rhyme or reason. You could do whatever you want. And this just lifts off here. Uh, it just sits on top of the uh, two by four frame that we made. So then over the top, right now I'm going to attach uh, this two by three wire mesh that I have. Again, you could use probably anything you want. That just happens to be what I have. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use staples to attach that to the OSB strips. I'll go ahead and get that in place and then I'll uh, I'll show you how I intend on uh, hooking up the light and that uh, sort of stuff. All right, I've got the uh, wire mesh attached to my top here. Again, I just use regular 916 staples, stapled it in. It's secure enough. I don't... My, my brooders are kept inside my barn. I don't have to worry about any kind of predators. And really the only reason I put the top on them is because of my barn cat. If I didn't have her, I wouldn't even probably need that. But um, so yeah, so that's the, the finished product there. You see, I have cut the hole for the light. Uh, and that is four squares by two squares. And how I set my light is I hate using the, the clamps that come with these lights because I don't trust them. So I do that there. You can see that light fits right in that hole. I do it a little bit off center of the brooder so if it gets too hot, the chicks can get to one side. Uh, but that is impossible to fall through there. It cannot fall and it cannot start a fire, which is my biggest fear with these things. Uh, I'll grab another one that has the clamp on it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, so let me show you something with these, these lights. Um, these heat lamps are responsible for untold amount of fires. Uh, so I'm very, very nervous in, in using them, which is why I set them up the way that I do set them up. If I do not use this clamp that comes with them. If you're going to use this clamp, make sure that you have some kind of chain or um, I would even not use rope because that'll heat up. I would definitely go with chain, something attached to the actual light. You see this clamp is just hooked on here with this little bracket thing. And if this loosens up, which I've had it do a ton of times, this whole thing slides off. The whole thing just fell apart and your heat lamp fell in your chicks and is starting a fire and you don't know it. If you have it hung up by this, it cannot fall. This is actually attached to the light. This bracket thing is only attached to this thing. So. 
You're gonna use the bracket to secure it, which I do with my bigger brooder. Uh, I always have a chain that connects to this, making it impossible for it to fall. So, so look out for these brackets on these. They are very chintzy and they do fall right off. All right, so there's the finished product, one down. I've got this other half to go. I will do the identical thing to that one. Uh, it's a quick, uh, real quick, easy way to get a couple of brooders uh, for yourself. If you don't have any, just get yourself an IBC tote and uh, basically some scrap lumber and some scrap mesh and, and, and you're all set. Um, I'm sure there's people that have done this a little different ways. There's different things you can do uh, to either make yours a little different or a little special for whatever your needs are. But for our needs, this is just perfect. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, share it with friends and family, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.